So here we have two mixed numbers being multiplied. Two and three fifths multiplied by four and two sevenths. Now, in order to multiply mixed numbers, all we need to do is convert each of the mixed number into an improper fraction. How do I convert a mixed number into an improper fraction? All I need to do, I need to multiply the integer number, the whole number, multiply it by the denominator, and then add 3. That will be the numerator of the improper fraction. So 2 times 5 plus 3 will be the numerator. So let's do this. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 3 is 13. And the denominator will be just whatever denominator you have there. The denominator there is 5, so the, numerator, uh, the denominator here will be 5. And then the same thing for the other one. 4 times 7 is 28, plus 2 is 30, so that bit becomes 30 over 7. Now that I have written these as improper fractions, all I need to do now is just multiply these two fractions. Remember, when we are multiplying fractions, it's just the numerator times the numerator, the denominator times the denominator. So the top times the top, bottoms times the bottom. 13 times 30, well, 10 times 30 is 300. 3 times 30 is 90, so that becomes 390 on top. And the base, the denominator, 5 times 7 is 35, so the base will be 35. Can I simplify this? No. Well, actually, yes, I can. I can, sim I can divide both of them by 5. Now, actually, what I could have done is, at this step here, I could have simplified it. I should have realized that 30 here can be divided by 5. So I could have cancelled things out. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So that actually then becomes 6 times 13. Well, 6 times 10 is 60. 3 times 6 is 18. 18 plus 60, that's 78. I'm left with 78 over 7. And I'd get the same thing here. I could just simplify this fraction by dividing the numerator and the denominator by um, the largest common factor. And the highest common factor of these two numbers is just 5. And if I divide 390 by 5, I get 78. And 35 divided by 5 is just 7. So I get 78 over 7. So here we have 5 times 3 and 4 sevenths. We have an integer, a whole number, being multiplied by a mixed number. All we need to do here is to write the 5 as a fraction. How can we write this as, as a fraction? We are, well, we can write it as 5 over 1. So the 5 can be written as 5 over 1 as a fraction. And what we need to do here is we need to convert this into an improper fraction and the way we convert this as I said earlier is we, we, we do 3 times 7 which is 21 plus 4 that's 25 so that is the numerator 3 times 7 is 21 plus 4 is 25 that's the numerator and the denominator will be just the denominator that we have in the fraction 7 now now that we are at this stage, all we need to do is just, again, we're just multiplying fractions. It's just top times the top, bottom by the bottom. The numerator times the numerator and the denominator times the denominator. 5 times 25, we can do this in our head. 5 times 25 is just 125. And 1 times 7 is just 7. Can I simplify this? Do these numbers have any factors in common? No. I cannot simplify this, and there is no number that goes into both of them, so this is my final answer. This is in its simplest form. Now, I could write, I, I could convert this into um, a mixed number, but it's not necessary. I can leave it in, an, in a fractional form as long as the improper fraction has been simplified, meaning I cannot divide it 
any further. So this is my final answer. Now, suppose I wanted to convert my answer into a mixed number. How would I do this? Well, all I need to do is see how many sevens go into 125. And I can just use uh, long data vision, the bus stop method, to see how many sevens go into 125. So let's do this. So 125 is being divided by 7. How many sevens go into 1? None. How many sevens go into 12? In 12, there is clearly only one 7, and the remainder, 1 times 7 is 7, the remainder is clearly 6, uh, not 6, the remainder is 5. And then what we need to do, we need to bring the 5 down. How many 7s go into 55? Uh, well, clearly, 7 times 7 is 49, so clearly only 7 lots go into uh, 55 because 7 times 7 is 49 and the remainder is 6 so the remainder now is 6 now all I need to do the remainder 6 we write it as a fraction and we write it as a fraction over the divisor so my answer will be 17 and six sevenths. So this improper fraction here can be converted into seventeen and six sevenths, and that's my answer. So here we have three mixed numbers being multiplied two and a third times four and two fifths times one and three quarters. Now, again, we do the same thing, we need to convert each of these mixed numbers into an improper fraction. So let's do this. So the first one will be uh, to convert this into an improper fraction. The denominator, the numerator will be 2 times 3 plus 1. So 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. So that will become 7 over 3. The next one, 4 times 5 is 20 plus 2 is 22. So that becomes 22 over 5. And the last one, 1 times 4 is 4, plus 3 is 7, so that becomes 7 over 4. So that becomes 7 over 4. Now, all we need to do here now is just multiply the all the numerators and multiply all the denominators. Now, as you can see here, this is you know, we'll get a really, really large number. So um, the easiest thing to do here would be to just to use the um, column method to multiply this. We know 7 times 7 is 49. 49 times 22 is, if we just quickly use the column method, 49 times 22. Um, 2 times 9 is 18. Carry the 1 there. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. And then I put an x there. 2 times 9 is 18. Carry the 1 there. 2 times 4 is 8. Plus 1, it's 9. So that becomes 8. 9 add 8 is 17. Carry the 1 there. That becomes that. So then my numerator here, this multiplication here, becomes just 1078 and the base here becomes, well I can do this in my head, 5 times 4 is 20, 20 times 3 is 60, so the base becomes 60. Now is this my final answer? No, this is not my final answer because this can be simplified because clearly both of the numbers are even and I can divide both of them by 2. So if I simplify this if I divide 1,078 by 2, half of 1,000 is 500, half of 78 is 39, so that becomes 539, so I've divided it by 2. And if I divide the denominator, the base, by 2, 60 divided by 2 is just 30. Now, can I simplify this any further? No, I can't, because clearly there is no number um, that divides into both and there is no common factor. 
is this number divisible by 3? How do I check the divisibility of, uh, of a number by 3? You just add the digits and see if it's a multiple of 3. So um, 5 add 3 is 8. 8 add 9 is 17. So clearly 17 is not a multiple of 3. So this cannot be divided by 3. So I can't... The, um, I cannot divide these numbers by 2, I can't divide it by 3, and there is no other common factor. So this is my final answer. Now, like before, we can leave the answer as an improper fraction, or I can convert this into a mixed number, and if I want to convert it into a mixed number, you just use the column method to, to see how many 30s go into 539. So let's do this. Now, Clearly, into 5, there's none. Into 53, only 1 goes there. 1 times 30 is 30. The remainder is 23. And then I bring the 9 down. Um, how many 30 is going to 239? Uh, more clearly, 30 times 8 is 240, but that exceeds it, so it will be th I th it will be 7 lots that go into 239, and 7 times 30, 7 times 30 is 210. And the remainder here is clearly 29. So the remainder is 29. Now what did I say? bit before, it, the remainder we write it as a fraction over the divisor. So my final answer would be 17 and 29 over 30. This is my answer as a mixed number.